Hello, Mother. Hello, darling. I have a simple question. Pray tell. As a Christian woman, yeah. I can assume that you're a Christian woman because you're you're married to me. Yes. Have you ever seen in three short years any country on earth, matter of fact, pretty much the world, fall apart as it has under this presidency? No, no, I'll tell you what. The very first year I looked at you, remember, and I said, how are we going to survive four years of this? And look at this, three years, and it's just worse than I thought it could get, but don't kid yourself, it can still get worse. I know, right? Yeah. It's like, um, look, all right, we are over there in the Ukraine. Don't get me wrong, I feel sorry for the Ukraine. I really do. They were attacked by Russia. But we need to understand neither side here is good people. Uh, when Europe started doing business with Russia, that should have been it. We should have been out of NATO. We are still spending... Oh, here. Yeah, okay. You're talking. Absolutely. Hi. Anyway, Hi. We're spending trillions of dollars, okay, on the Ukraine when our own economy is falling apart. Uh, it, it's not my imagination. It's like uh, the censorship in the media is at an all-time high. I agree. We literally, and this is a true fact. You can look it up. We literally have proof that when Joe Biden was vice president, he accepted $5 million, and this is one that I know for fact because I've seen the paperwork on it, from China, uh, you know, pay to play. OK, um, it doesn't matter if Joe Biden is a criminal or not. The Justice Department is so broke. It's just broken. All right. They're not going to press charges. Uh, the censorship has destroyed this country because you have people out there that are so fixated on Trump sucky suck that you can't see the real danger in front of you. Uh, we are on the verge of having a war. Well, not on the verge. There's a war in Africa. There's a war in Haiti, believe it or not. State Department, because of the violence, is telling everybody, get out of Haiti. Everything is falling apart. And you still have the mainstream media out there going, doody, 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 oh, doody, yeah. doody. Don't look this way. And Nothing's happening. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're black, I'm the only white person in my house. My wife had to draw my attention to that the yeah, other that day. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, uh, no one cares. All You're right? Done. No one cares. You know what I care about? You got to keep your filth away from the children. Okay? Uh, look, in the Bible, I mean, it talks about cross-dressing. It talks about homosexuality. It tells you it's an abomination. People, you're not special. Mm -hmm. This sickness has been around since uh, Abraham, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, no one cares what you do. I'm just tired of hearing about it, okay? If you're a guy, stay out of the women's bathroom. You know, we used to have mental health departments that took care of people like you. Not anymore. They use this to distract you from what they want you to do. You know, you know. I, I, I don't know if uh, uh, the transgender people or the gay people or anybody, the, the whole community, you guys understand you're being used as pawns, right? No, they don't. Do, do you understand that you're being used as a political tool to distract everybody else from whatever the other hand is doing? We don't even know what they're doing necessarily. We know that they're trying to take power. That we know that they are corrupt, and uh, ah. who knows? Imagine that they're using you. Who knows how bad it is? What it is that they're trying to hide? Correct. I mean, don't let yourselves be used. Right. You know. I mean, it's like common sense things. All right. This Joe Biden administration seems to have their head in 1980. Things that worked in 1980 no longer. I mean, 
I'm a firm believer we need term limits. Yeah, did, did you guys did you? see? <laughs> What's his name? Uh, what was his name, hon? Uh, oh, uh... uh, uh, uh my- Connor, no, Connor, uh, no. no uh, yeah, the lead Republican in Mitch McConnell. Did you see that? In mid sentence, he just. I don't know what I'm saying. He yeah, he there. just. It didn't they, register. Yeah. He didn't know where he was at. He didn't know what he was saying. And he stood there for like 20, 30 seconds, staring in the midair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, <laughs> this is the people that are leading us, guys. There's a video out there. That shows Diane Feinstein in a wheelchair telling her aide she doesn't understand what she's voting on, and the aide tells her, just vote no. She doesn't even have a comprehension of what's happening. No, not only uh, do we need turn limits, but I'm sorry, I, I'm yes. not meaning, to, we're getting older, so I yep. don't mean to say this, but we need age limits. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come no, on. No, no, no. I mean, especially. Okay, this is going to be very unpopular. Wait. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yep. Okay. Wait, wait for, oh, there it is, okay. Especially for women. Uh-oh. Okay, I know, I know you know, if you're a woman going through the time of life that you're changing, okay, menopause, your brain becomes a foggy mess, okay? Oh. And your Hormones are out of balance and everything else. Perhaps, I don't mean saying menopause. Yeah, no, I am saying that. Menopausal yeah. women really shouldn't be part of the government where we got to make decisions. <laughs> I'm going to get hate. That's good. Oh, you're going to get hate and, for But that. it's true. It is. If you, women were, the thing is, if women were honest with themselves, they would know different. They would say different, but they're not. All women out there seem to me, they're deluded and crazy. It is days. Uh, I don't know. I'll just, uh, look, I'm to the point right now where I truly believe no taxation without representation. We're not getting represented. We know that there's a, uh, okay, here we go. Here's another little story. Barack Obama was paddle boarding with his little cook, feller, and uh, somehow uh, Barack Obama comes home and the cook drowned. All right? Uh what? 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 Where's look, the media look, on this? Look, well, Barack Obama, somebody drowned in his pool, but look at the aliens over here. Yeah, look at the yeah. aliens. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> look, all I'm saying is the media is destroying this country, all right? You guys backed a candidate who's tearing us apart, and you won't tell the truth, Yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh, the media used to be respected. You told both sides of the story. You can still be biased and tell both sides of the story, but now I truly believe, you gotta understand, the media is not the media anymore. It, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a variety show. Okay, they're there to make what little bit of money that's left in the news industry. Nothing they says is really true. The censorship and community guidelines, you people are tearing this country to pieces. The Department of Justice, the FBI, and the Biden administration are the most corrupt we've ever had. But hey, this is not my world. This is you young people's world. I will tell you something that I learned years and years ago. You don't have to like a politician to vote for him. You vote for results. Mm -hmm. Are the results we have right now, is this making you happy? Yeah. All right? And as I said, I don't care, man. Just stay away from the children. Yep, yeah. that's what I think. But, yeah. You guys need to research this stuff. Yep. Ah, and may God bless us all. God bless. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>